Welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. I am your host, Heather, known as Bunny Fish on Ravelry, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Friday, the 17th of May, 2019, and this is episode 41. Grab some sticks and string and come sit with me. As you can see, I am in one of my favorite locations to record a podcast, which is at our local park, the one that we go to the most frequently. Um, it's just beautiful. It used to be a golf course, so it's there's a lot of land, and there are beautiful um, little areas to sit, like this one. You're currently sat on a stone bench, which is my favorite hangout place when I don't have children with me. When I have children with me, we sit over by the playground, but when I don't, I sit in this little beautiful nook. Um, that has a bench. So, I don't have show notes for today. Um, I just have been, like, weirdly busy all week in a good way. The family stuff, hanging out, all good things. So, I don't have show notes. I do have a bag full of what I believe is pretty much everything I've worked on. Um, a notable exception is, I'm. this is also going to be really informal. I'm just going to talk about things as they come out of the bag. Um, so one thing that I'm working on that I don't have with me is a tree skirt. It's called the Crimson Tree Skirt. And it is, you hear that red winged blackbird calling? It is written for worsted weight. I'm using it out of a uh, bulky or super bulky. Um, I'm using Premier Serenity Chunky and Hometown USA Lion Brand. So those are the two yarns I'm using because those are the two yarns that I had red and green in and um, I've only had to buy one additional skein of red to do the panels and then I will likely have to buy all of the board, not all of the border um, yarn, because I'm trying to decide if I want to do cream with it or gray to connect the panels and then, um, and then do an edging of some sort. So I'm working on numbers nine and 10. Nine will be a solid, a green solid, and then 10 will be another scrappy one. So that's really exciting because I really, really like the scrappy ones. And yeah, I just have to decide what border color I want to use. I'm not taking that with me to Ohio this weekend, so it's not in this bag. <laughs> but um, I definitely, it was not even a project last week, and now it is so close to completion. So. I will finish that this weekend and, or not this weekend, this coming week, and I will show it to you next week, maybe at the park, maybe at home. Who knows? Okay, top of the bag. Let's get started. This is Trough, which is a design by me. It doesn't look like a ton of progress, but I'm at right around 280 stitches around, um, not quite 300, but it is pretty significant. I did add on the second ball of yarn. Here it is here it is right here. I just tied it together with a magic knot and I will trim this end, but I wanted to show you that I'm on the second ball. I mean, I can show you that I'm on the second ball too, but there's the second ball. I don't know that I'm going to get to this bright, bright aqua in the middle, but um, I might. I probably will because the rows are huge, right? I don't know how many sections I have left after this one, but I know that there's at least two more and then there would be a bind off. So this is what I am taking with me today. I'm teaching a learn to knit class at Joann's. So this is what I'm going to take with me because I like to work on knitting projects while I'm teaching learn to knit class. And it is in my Silver Shed USA stockinette Zombies ZK 2017 edition bag, which is actually really, really dirty. You see how dirty that is? Can you tell that I take this with me everywhere? Oh, the bag will need a bath after this project. Next up in my fanny pack 
is a pair of Scraposaurus socks, or not a pair, a single Scraposaurus sock. So last week you saw the first one, and here is the second one. I have it barely started. I worked on this at school when I was working. Look at that. Look at that mistake right there. Can you see it? I slipped a stitch instead of knitting it with the red. Oh well, I'm gonna leave it. I don't really care that much. Actually, what had happened was I went into work yesterday and my knitting, I had left it there. I don't work on Wednesdays, so I had left it there and um, the needles were pulled out of a handful of stitches and the yarn was dropped down because I leave it in my apron on our like utility cart that we keep all of our cleaning supplies and stuff on. So someone must have accidentally picked it up and like freaked out when they dropped some stitches. It's fine. This sock is for my boyfriend. He probably won't even notice. If it becomes a big deal, I can duplicate stitch over that. No problem. It doesn't have a ton of progress on it, but this isn't a project that I need done anytime soon. These are his Christmas socks and it's the middle of May. So mostly they are just for, um, the reason why they're in my fanny pack is because they are for walking around. I don't know what the plan is this weekend, actually. I don't know exactly when their father will be working and when he plans to do things and stuff like that. So if I'm taking them to the park or something, I'll probably bring this project. If we all go to the aquarium because he has passes that include a free guest pass. Um, then I'll take this. I know that they go to the aquarium a lot because they have your passes. So I just wanted to make sure that I had something that was small and portable and in a bag that was easily portable. And yeah, so this is in my fanny pack. The yarn is nitpicks stroll in the tonal heartfelt colorway and the regular stroll in white. Next up I have this bag which is a stitch by Just Lou. It is a Van Gogh bag but I have it on the it's it's got starry night fabric on the inside. You can see that right? Um, and then on the outside it just has dark blue stars uh oh, this one's dirty too. I have to have a massive project bag wash in. It's going to be a thing. Um, but this is a great spinning bag. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's just a bucket bag. I got this from a friend. But it has fiber stuck to it from Carnival Bears. <laughs> but it unsnaps so you can snap it right over your wheel to work from it and inside this bag I have the next bit of fiber that I plan to spin. This is the other half of that half of a braid that I'm spinning for a fractal for the, um, the chaotic neutral which I have in my bag and I'm not going to show you of course. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. So I am taking this so that if I feel like spinning, I can spin. I'm not pressuring myself to spin. Although I did start a new spin, which I'm not taking with me this weekend. Um, that fiber that I talked about, I don't know if I talked about it on the podcast last week or not, or if it was just in vlogs. I have a fiber that I'm planning to spin into a sweater, and I prepped some of the fiber for it a couple days ago and allowed myself to spin just a little tiny bit, like probably five yards. Um, I'm super excited about that sweater spin. It's going to be a heavier weight. This is a three ply fingering weight. That is going to be a two ply DK weight. So the singles are much bigger. So that's a fun change up. Um, oh, the, the lawn care is getting closer. But I will be spinning it on this spindle right here. And as you can see, I have just a little bit of fiber left. So I'm planning to finish spinning this fiber, which is a silk alpaca blend. 
and then I'm going to wind this fiber off on my Nitty Natty. This is a golding spindle um, that I got from a friend. So my Nitty Natty legs are in the bag somewhere. So I'm going to wind that off at some point today once I finish spinning it. This is like priority one for projects to work on today. Um, and then I'm going to hang it up in my car to dry while I'm driving so that I can use it tonight to catch up on the chaotic neutral mystery knit along because I am now two and a half days behind because I ran out of this yarn. <laughs> so needed to spin more. And my chaotic neutral is in this beautiful mermaid bag from um, Hooked by Happenstance, which is Kendra's shop. Yep, this one's dirty too. Summer is hard on my bags, but that's why we have bags, right? So our projects don't get messy. In this bag, I have another pair of Scrapasaurus socks. Or not another pair. I have another socks started. Hold on. I'm using the scrappy bits of um, yarn from the Chaotic Neutral to knit it. So I've already knit one sock, so I have little tiny bits for the second sock. Um, all I have so far is the toe. And I am just about to add the first color into the the fading of the scrappy sock. So again, this is like I'm taking this, but I don't actually anticipate working on it. I anticipate having it stay in the bottom of my bag because no way am I getting through all the knitting that I have prioritized right now to this. But what if I do? What if all that I do this weekend is knit for 14 hours a day and then I'm out of projects? Even if I knit for 14 hours a day, I probably still wouldn't need to work on this. So this is a Fates Red bag. I don't know if you can see the tag. And it is like Chibi Sailor Moon. So, so cute. And the last bag that I have is from um, Kitchen Counter Crafter, Java Jenny. And Kaylee gifted this bag to me at ZK ever ago. The second ZK, whatever that was. Um, and inside here, I have several things. So this is a finished object from previously. I stuck it in there so I would have my hat this weekend. Um, have a finished project. I finished the fingerless mitts which I still didn't look up the name, um, but it's by Wee Sheep, who is, um, fail. I can't remember anything. It'll be in the show notes or on a Ravelry page somewhere. And if I'm feeling really fancy, I will have looked up all of the names and they will have all been at the bottom of the screen and you will know. So here's where I was last week. And this is finished because a friend of mine and patron of the podcast and super best supporter in the way that all really great friends are, um, purchased a tripod for me. So I have a tripod so I can do tutorials, which means I have done the tutorial to work this um, flat and in the round. Use the <laughs> the tutorial is how I use stitch markers to count my rows and rounds. Yes, that is what I was trying to say. Um, those tutorials are in are linked on my Patreon for patrons of any level, which starts at one dollar, and they will be exclusive to Patreon until June fifteenth. So, if you're not a patron and you are interested in being able to see those videos before June 15th, then um, head over to my page. Think about becoming a patron. That would be awesome. So these are made out of Black Sheep Dye Works in the Blackberry Tonal colorway. 
new location because as I was talking about those mitts, the, um, the crew came over and started working in the area that I was in. So I don't have video of the stone bench. Sorry. Maybe next time I record, I will record that first. So back to these mitts. They are worsted weight yarn. The pattern is written for an Aran weight. So I worked mine on a US size four. Um, my row and round counts are all different from the pattern. So they're all listed. Look at that. One mitt is longer than the other. Huh. Must not have counted this second mitt right. Um, I didn't look back at my notes to see how many I had done for this one, and I just assumed that I did a certain amount, but obviously not. I'm going to leave it. The recipient probably won't care. Probably will notice, but doubt will care. So, yeah. Oops. Um, I'm going to weave in the ends on this one, call it good, and... Um, and then hopefully gift them this weekend. So leaving the ends, block them on my dash as I'm driving, as I do. And uh, yeah, it'll be good. Can't believe that I made this one like three rows, three rounds <laughs> longer. Oh well, I don't care enough to fix it. Um, all of the information on this will be on Ravelry. For sure and I'm super excited that I did those tutorials I hope you will be super excited when you watch them um, a couple people have watched them and the response has been good so far so it's my favorite trick and then my last project slipped out of its little cozy my last project is another um, Orion Mesh Beanie by Kalisha Ryan. And does it feel like a little bit of deja vu? I'm crocheting it out of the same yarn, crocheting a second one for my sister. I decided I would crochet it for her instead of use this yarn in scrappy projects. Um, it's a sport weight yarn, so it's not... My projects are predominantly fingering weight, but I do use sport weight in them anyway. I just fudge stitch and row counts and stuff like that. So I'm going to make her this hat. If this is enough to make the entire um, hat, then it will just be this color. And then if I don't have enough, I will use the leftover worsted weight to do the brim. I know there are different weights of yarn. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter that much. If it seems like the brim is going to be too big or too loose, I will just decrease out stitches because I'm the boss of my crafting. So we have an airplane going by now. Very exciting. We had some geese hang out. This is recording out in nature, y'all. I hope that in this time you have made something fantastic with your sticks and string. I would love to hear what you worked on while you watched this podcast. Um, I hope if you've been hanging out in the vlogs that you have been enjoying those. I am super behind that and putting those up too. I have two vlogs, two days worth of vlogs to edit and I'm recording today's vlog also. So I am going to now take myself to the library and get started on all of that, but I am super excited that I stopped at the park and spent some time here. I hope you enjoyed being in the park with me today, and I will see you next week. Bye!